Hello folks, Prasad Domala here and in this video I'll show you how we can uh, send operating system logs to AWS uh, CloudWatch. CloudWatch is a monitoring service offered by uh, AWS using which we can monitor uh, all uh, cloud resources and applications we run on uh, AWS Cloud. We can use CloudWatch to collect and track metrics. We can collect and uh, monitor log files and uh, we can also create uh, alarms based on these uh, metrics. CloudWatch can be integrated with AWS cloud services like EC2, RDS, you know, VPC, ELV and so on. And uh, we can also use it for custom application logs and uh, create alarms based on these uh, metrics. In this demo, I'll show you how to send Apache web server logs to uh, CloudWatch and create custom metric filters and alarms uh, from those logs. So I'm in my uh, AWS account and I have an instance uh, created and I have uh, Apache running on my uh, instance. And I can also access my uh, web uh, URL and uh, this is uh, Apache's uh, default home page. So to send uh, these Apache logs uh, to AWS CloudWatch, first step is to provide uh, required permissions to this uh, EC2 instance to write logs to uh, CloudWatch. So we'll be doing this using uh, IAM roles. If your instance is not in uh, AWS, you can provide access by uh, adding your access key and secret access keys to your uh, logs agent configuration. If you're using EC2 instance, it's always recommended to use uh, IAM roles instead of uh, access keys. Next, we need to install and uh, configure CloudWatch logs agent on your EC2 instance. During this configuration, we'll specify the log file path, destination uh, CloudWatch log groups and uh, streams. Once the agent is configured, we can start the agent service and we should be able to see the logs in uh, AWS CloudWatch. So let's start with creation of our uh, IAM role. I'm logged into my uh, AWS management console. Let me navigate to uh, IAM and then go to policies. Click on create policy. We can directly create an inline uh, policy uh, directly in the role, but it's always better to uh, create a policy first and then attach it to the role. So first uh, we need to choose a service. In our case, it will be uh, CloudWatch logs. So select that. Next, we need to select actions. So for this demo, we need uh, create log group, create log stream. So I'll first select uh, create log group and uh, create log stream. And then we also need uh, put log events and uh, describe log streams. So I'll search for um, put log events and then uh, describe log streams. Next for resources, we can select all resources, but if you want to restrict uh, the log groups and uh, streams, you can specify the resources here, but it's not required for this uh, demo. So I'm selecting all resources here. So this policy will have the selected permissions on all log groups and uh, streams. So now we can click on review policy and I'll call it as uh, CW logs policy. and then click on create policy. Now we need to create a role and attach this uh, policy to the role. So let's go to roles and then create role. So this role is for EC2, so select EC2 and then EC2 again and then click on uh, permissions. So here search for our new policy which is uh, CW logs policy. Select that and then review and I'll call this as uh, CW logs role and then create role. Now we need to attach this role to our EC2 instance. So let's go back to our uh, EC2 management console and then from the actions, instance settings, attach or replace IAM role. I'll select uh, CW logs role and then apply. So now this instance will have required permissions to write logs to uh, CloudWatch. So that is the first step. Now let's install the agent on our uh, EC2 instance. So if you're using Amazon Linux uh, instance, you can install the logs agent using uh, yum. So you can simply execute uh, yum y install AWS logs. So this will install our uh, logs agent and all its uh, dependencies. 
So if you are using other distributions like uh, Ubuntu or uh, CentOS or uh, Red Hat, you can install it using uh, Python. So we first need to download the setup uh, Python script using uh, the URL and then execute the Python script along with the uh, region. Now we need to configure our uh, logs agent and the configuration is uh, located in uh, etc. AWS logs and then uh, AWS logs dot uh, conf. So this file contains the whole description of all the settings we can uh, configure. If you go to the end of this file, we can see the default configuration for where log uh, messages. So each log file we wanted to send to CloudWatch logs must have a section configured here. So for uh, where log messages, these are the settings. We can specify date time uh, format, log file uh, path, and then we have buffer duration, which uh, is nothing but the frequency of, uh, you know, batching of uh, log events. So the default and minimum value for this parameter is uh, 5000 milliseconds. And then we have log group name and then uh, log stream name. If you're using the agent for the first time and these log groups and uh, streams are not present in CloudWatch, the agent creates the groups and streams. And that is the reason we uh, provided create log group and uh, create log stream permissions in our policy. By default, stream name is set to instance ID. You can change it if you want. You can provide your uh, host name here or some uh, literal string if you want to identify the logs easily in uh, CloudWatch. We can also specify uh, initial position either start of uh, file or uh, end of file and by default it is uh, start of file. So I'll modify this section to send our Apache logs to a CloudWatch. By default Apache logs are uh, stored under var log httpd. So I'll uh, create a section for our Apache access log. So I'll rename it to uh, var log httpd slash uh, access log. And then uh, the date time format, I'll leave the default. And then the file path would be var log httpd and then our uh, access log path which is access underscore log and then the buffer duration I'll leave it as 5000 the log stream name we can leave this instance ID or we can change this I'll just add uh, a literal string here I'll just call it as my web server and then hyphen uh, instance ID so instead of uh, instance ID you can specify uh, host name or uh, IP address here if you want so the initial position I'll leave it as a uh, start of file for log group name, I'll call it as uh, var log HTTP uh, D slash uh, access underscore log. Or you can provide a string of your choice, something like uh, my Apache access logs or something. I'll create another section for my uh, error log. So I'll just copy this. And then I'll change the name of the section to error underscore log. And then my file path would be error underscore log. And the log group name, I'll call it as uh, error underscore log. So now we have the configuration for both the access and uh, error logs. So I'll save this file. Next, we need to make sure that uh, we are using the correct region and the region is specified in uh, etc. AWS uh, logs and then AWS CLI.conf. So by default, the region is set to US East 1. So I'll change it to my region AP Southeast 2 and then save this file. Now we can start our agent using uh, service AWS logs start. So now our uh, logs agent is started. Now let's go to our CloudWatch console. And then uh, go to logs. As you can see, we have our uh, access log group and uh, error log group created already. So if you go to access log, you will see a stream with a name we have provided, my web server, and then hyphen the instance ID. So if you click on this, you can see the logs from your uh, Apache. Similarly, if you go to uh, error log, you can see the stream name. And if you click on that, you can see all your uh, error logs. 
So this mechanism will be helpful if you have a bunch of uh, web servers. You can view all your uh, log files in a central uh, location. You can also create filters and configure SNS alerts based on these uh, filters. So if you go to your log group, select your log group and then click on uh, create metric filter. And uh, you can see some examples here. For example, if you want to get alerts uh, on 400 uh, HTTP uh, status codes, you can select this uh, filter pattern. Or if you want to uh, filter your log files based on a string, you can provide the string uh, pattern here. Say for example, if you want to filter your logs based on some keywords, say for example, error, you can provide your uh, filter pattern here. And then you can test your pattern. And as you can see, it found uh, four matches out of eight events. So if you see this log file here, we have error keyword here and we have four instances of that error keyword and you can see the test results here. So these are the entries where this error keyword is uh, present. So you can create as many uh, metric filters as you want based on keywords or uh, regular expressions. Let me assign this metric and then you can uh, provide some metric name, say errors and then uh, create filter. So once the filter is created, you'll get an option to create an alarm based on this uh, filter. So if you click on create alarm, so you can see the screen where you can uh, set an alarm. And here you can create actions and uh, send notification to your uh, SNS topic or you can provide the list of uh, email addresses here. So that is how we can send uh, operating system logs to AWS CloudWatch and create metric filters and alarms based on those uh, metric filters. So if you have any questions, please post in the comment section. Hope you liked the video. If you did, please hit that like button. So that's it for today. See you in the next one.